So you have installed Google Tag Manager on a website, but you're not sure if it's working properly. If yes, then you've come to the right place because I will show you exactly what to do and how to check if GTM is working properly. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania's YouTube channel where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. After Google Tag Manager is installed on a website, you need to test if it's working properly. And there are several things that you should check before you create your first tag. Otherwise, they might not work. Let's take a look. In this video, I will show you the most common things to check if you want to make sure that your Google Tag Manager is installed properly. However, if none of these tips work, I will also post a link below the video to my blog post that contains some additional advice. So whenever I or my developer adds Google Tag Manager snippets to the website, first, I always check the source of the website because I need to make sure that the Google Tag Manager container code is there. You can do that by going to the website where you have installed Google Tag Manager, doing the right click and then view page source. Then use the browser search feature. So for example, on Windows, that is control F and enter gtm.js. And you should see a code that looks like this with the container ID. However, sometimes developers don't add the Google Tag Manager container snippet to the main file of the website. Instead, what they do is that they have a dedicated file for JavaScript code, and then they add Google Tag Manager container code to that file. In order to check whether this is the case, you can go to the website. You can then open your developer tools, then go to sources and then press on your keyboard control shift and F. I guess that on Mac, that would be command shift F and then enter gtm.js right here. When you click it, you will find probably several places where this happens or maybe one, and that will help you identify where that particular container snippet code is added. Then you should ignore all the Chrome extension elements. You can, you should also ignore the gtm.js and then you should just find something like index or maybe some other file name, but not the first two ones. And then when you find it, you can click it right here and that code will be opened right here. So this is the code of your site. And here you can find the snippet added to your website. And this is the Google Tag Manager container snippet. Another option how to check if your Google Tag Manager container is implemented properly is to enable the preview and debug mode. So go to Google Tag Manager container, enable the preview mode, and once it is enabled, then go to the website and refresh the website. If you see the preview mode appear at the bottom of the screen, so this means that so far so good. If you cannot see the orange banner right here, this means that maybe your browser is blocking third party cookies. In that case, I will post a link below the video to this article that will help you troubleshoot the reasons why your Google Tag Manager preview mode is not working. If however, you see this preview mode banner right here, but you cannot see it at the bottom of your website. This means that something is not correct. And you should also refer to this blog post and check. Maybe you will find some reason why your Google Tag Manager preview mode is not working because if Google Tag Manager is implemented properly, preview mode will work. Then one more option, how to check if Google Tag Manager is installed properly is to use a plugin called Tag Assistant. So this is an extension created for Google Chrome browser. I will post a link to this extension below the video. So after you install it, you will see a blue icon like this. So go to your website, click on this icon, click enable and refresh the website. And you should see some number appear right here. Click it and you might see one item like Google Tag Manager, you might see several items, for example, you might see Google Analytics, Google Ads or whatever, that depends on what kind of tools have you already installed on your website. But just keep in mind that next to Google Tag Manager, you should expect a green icon like this. So this means that Google Tag Manager is implemented properly. You might also find yourself in some situations where the icon is, let's say, blue, yellow or red. In that case, you should click on Google Tag Manager if its color is not green. And then at the bottom of the window of the plugin, you should see what kind of warnings must be fixed. But for example, in this case, these two warnings are not essential. For example, Google Tag Manager can work completely fine without the no script code at all. And also Google Tag Manager can work fine if it is not in the head. If for example, your developers added that container to the body, that will still work. 
However, it is recommended to place it as high as possible. So in this case, in the head of the website, because the sooner your Google Tag Manager uh, container will be loaded, the faster your tags will be activated. This means that let's say tags like Google Analytics page view tag will uh, capture more accurate data. But in general, the practice goes like this. You see that the color of Google Tag Manager is not green. You click it, you then see some warnings and well, just do Google search. So copy the text, enter it in Google search and then find what people are talking about. Is it critical, how to fix that and so on. Then one more place where you can check if Google Tag Manager is being loaded properly. For example, if you are not using Chrome and you don't have the Tag Assistant. So what you can do is that you can go to your browser's developer tools then go to something that will probably be called network or something else. I mean, that depends on the browser. And then in the search bar, enter gtm.js and then refresh the page. And here you will see the request to our Google Tag Manager container. And you should expect the status to be 200 because 200 means that the request was properly processed. So once you complete at least several steps that I have explained in this video, then you can create your first tag and check whether that data is coming to the real-time reports of the tool to which you are sending that data. So in our case, we can create a Google Analytics tag. It will be a page view tag and it will send the data to this property. Save the variable, then set it to fire on all pages. Then save the tag, refresh the preview mode once again, then refresh the page. And you should see that your tag has fired. And if you go to Google Analytics and real-time reports overview, you should see that page view right here. So these were the most common things that you can check in order to make sure that your Google Tag Manager is installed properly. Uh, based on my experience, one of the most common things that you might see is that the preview mode will not work. So in that case, most likely something is done incorrectly by a developer or maybe you have implemented the, the container incorrectly or maybe something else. So make sure to Check the link below the video where I have a bunch of ways how to check why your preview mode is not working and of course solutions how to fix those issues. Now you should know how to check if Google Tag Manager is installed properly on your site. If however you have identified that GTM is not working, I will post several resources below the video and they will help you troubleshoot the issue. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.